Pardon how I look. I have like some raspberries on the floor I'm munching on. I really should be like brushing my teeth and like doing something with my hair and getting dressed and everything because we have a guest for lunch today. So I gotta look right up for that. Um, but I just... Oh. Yesterday I was spent in bed watching Burnt and then in the evening my mom and I, we watched Gone Girl. <sighs> that was yesterday. My anxiety is like, um, we are down here a lot longer than initially intended, and we were supposed to be down here for three and a half weeks. We've been here for a month and some days, um, so it's been beautiful, and originally before we like made the decision to stay on because a business opportunity presented itself you know we were supposed to go home sooner and at some point this is when we were still at the other condo i started like having like anxiety problems and like physical symptoms and like all this stuff and i was like what the hell is going on with me right and then i realized it was because we were going home soon and um I had come to that conclusion, my mom came to that conclusion, and I remember her just telling me like, it is way too early for you to be stressed out about going home. Now usually I get stressed out about traveling because I don't like flying, and this had nothing to do with flying, although when it does come time to fly, I will be like, oh my god, I'm gonna, you know what I mean, I'll be freaking out, don't worry about that. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Um, but no, it was like the thought of going home. And it sounds horrible because, like, obviously, I, like, I miss my cat so much and, like, it's killing me. Well, that's kind of intense. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, if she was here, I feel like some of my anxieties would be, like, lessened because she's very, like, you know, she's, like, she's a lot of things for me. And I realized that if she, because I want her to become, well, she is, like, but not legally, <laughs> not legally like not on paper but like in our hearts she's my emotional support animal but I want to make that official in writing and there was a school I was looking at and like I look at some of these schools and I think about going to them and I'm like but what would I do with squeaky and we tried to figure this out years ago and my dad was gonna pay extra money to like let me let the school like let me have my cat and I'm thinking if she's like an emotional support animal I don't think they could deny me a cat they couldn't because I, I, I was on, what was it, Instagram maybe, and one of the ones I was looking at, there was a student that had like a therapy dog, and I was like, well, if you have some kind of animal, you know, that's good for you, they shouldn't deny you of that. So that was just a thought that popped into my head, and now I'm sharing it. But um, we fly home tomorrow night, I believe, and so like last night, like and yesterday, <sighs> Like, I was having trouble falling asleep. Like, I was getting anxious. Like, my ankle was throbbing. My knee was throbbing. Everything's hurting. I'm a little dizzy. I'm a little, like, OMG. And I say, I don't know. I say it sounds terrible because, like, you think I feel like my family before my cat. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just, it's just, like, there's just so much. Like, when we get home, it's not going to be like, oh, let's take it easy. Like, no, we go home, we hit the ground running, and I have at least one thing a day, like, this week when I get home, which is kind of good to be busy, but it's also kind of like, huh, a lot of stress, and like, who wants or needs that? So, um, we'll, say, so we'll see Joe for lunch. She's coming for lunch. She's the friend slash neighbor from the other condo. Um, and hopefully we'll get some stuff done. And finally, I was like, you know what? We should go to Bed Bath & Beyond to find myself some bedding because I really would like that. The one that I'm in love with at the moment that my mom was unsure about, it also comes in a gray color that might work, but I'd have to like see it in person, I think. Um, so it's, it's, uh, so yeah, this is me being like, oh my goodness. And since I've been down here, I've like been on a more normalized schedule, like going to bed before midnight, getting up before 10 a.m., like, when have I ever done that? Not since like high school. <laughs> it's been like 10 years since I've had like a normal sleeping schedule. And like I only know that like if I were to stay here longer, I'd like start using the gym. And like everything would just get better. This is gonna cut off in a minute. 
but I don't, bottom line is I don't want to go home.